Coming up on the bigger picture, blundering Biden, floundering Fauci, and global relations. All this and much more on the bigger picture. back to another episode of The Bigger Picture. I'm your host, Greg Prescott, and we have a lot to cover, so let's get busy. Looking at the world debt clock, the current dollar to silver ratio is $2,806. What this means is that if all of the available dollars were adjusted to a gold and silver backed currency, the current price of an ounce of silver would be $2,806. So in order to have a $1 million worth of silver at this dollar to silver ratio, you take that million dollars and you divide it by $2,806, which is the dollar to silver ratio, giving us how many ounces we need. We need 356 ounces of silver. So what I do is I always round this up, round it up to 357 ounces, multiply that by the current bid of silver, which is $23.58, giving us a total of $8,418.06. That's how much it would cost you at today's prices to have $1 million of silver to gold ratio, or dollar to silver ratio silver, $1 million. <laughs> Resident Biden allowed the Taliban to take over Afghanistan while leaving all of the United States military equipment, including assault rifles, planes, tanks, choppers, military uniforms that could be used in fall events, etc., all being left for the Taliban. But in the meanwhile, Biden wants to take your guns. Resident Biden held a brief press conference blaming Trump, naturally, for his own ineptitude, Biden's own ineptitude, and ran away like a scared child afterwards to resume his vacation, avoiding any questions from the press. Now, if I had to guess, I would say this is photoshopped, but it wouldn't surprise me if it wasn't. So you can see on the bottom, it says leave and now. My friend Terry is calling this a PSYOP, adding the plane was a C-17. Biden's speech was 17 minutes late and 17 minutes long. Not to mention the Make America Great Again hat that was pictured in the photo of the Taliban in the presidential palace. Also, the n mirrored. Trump and the White Hats are in full control. On a side note, Biden's press secretary, Circle Jen, was nowhere to be found either. In San Francisco, the police union warned that they will all resign or retire if they are forced to get vaccinated. This is what we need more of, peaceful non-compliance. And we see something similar going on with Tyson Foods. Check this out. Got awesome news, guys. You guys, look this up. Newburn Tyson Foods plant, 8 a.m. this morning. Half their employees walked out over this mandate. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got goosebumps. Uh, it, it, we're waking up here. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. You know, I told my company the other day, y'all saw the video, kiss my ass on this mandate and their mask. Uh, they can't run. They were scrambling. Read about it. New Burn Tyson Foods, 8 a.m. this morning. Love you. Love you, folks. I took some sand and some courage, and that's what the rest of this country needs to do. You know, stand up. Shut them down. Love you. Anthony Fauci is promoting booster shots and says they're preparing as if it's imminent. Here's a clip full of hot air and bullshit. Pay close attention to the bottom third of the screen. 
We are assuming that sooner or later we're going to have to give boosters. So what we're doing right now, the decision is we don't need to do it right now. It's not imminent. But we're preparing as if it will be imminent. So we're going to be ready to do it whenever the data shows that the protection has gone below a certain level because of a combination of the durability of protection. <laughs> In Italy, police joined the protesters as they were greatly outnumbered. Check out this video. In the meanwhile, here in the United States, the Department of Security declared the following as potential terror threats. Opposition to COVID measures, claims of belief Trump can be and an anniversary and religious holidays. So be sure not to oppose an ex that's caused over 12,000 deaths and don't oppose any proven odd. And remember, is non-negotiable. Remember that lump of shit, Bush Jr., when he said this? Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. And remember not to talk about how the Commission mentioned nothing about the thermite or why Building 7 collapsed when it was never hit by a plane. Don't talk about that ever. And whatever happened to our First Amendment, the right to f why are we being censored whenever we f rights or the oh yeah, and what if we talk about our founding then that's definitely going to get censored. So what can we talk about? Well, we can talk about how much we love taking the vaccine or how much we love communism or socialism. We could talk about the 50 billion new genders there are or how we support the Marxist BLM. We can praise Antifa, who, by the way, remember when Biden was running for president? If you typed in Antifa.com, you were redirected to JoeBiden.com. Now it redirects to the White House. How's that for a crock of shit? Oops, I mean, we love Antifa. And speaking of Antifa, Steve Inman on Gab posted this hilarious video. Check it out. Well, welcome to Los Angeles, where Americans are getting fed up with the bullshit of these Antifa commie bastards coming out of their mom's basement for playing Fortnite and now taking a beat down. It's about damn time Team America is stepping in and now beating the living hell out of this soy Tifa bitch. Right now, all his friends aren't there, so now there's soy piss all over the ground, taking a major beating. This guy tries to rush in, and it appears he's going to take a couple shots to the dome. Oh, my God. Helmet to the dome. Dome to the dome. And right here, you can hear them just yelling, unmask these little bitches, as this guy tries to save his little homie. And, of course, after this all happens, oh, a nice big right and another helmet shot. Takes a mushroom stamp to the dome, and, of course, that wouldn't be the first time he took a mushroom to the dome. And, of course, once again, the same people they wanted to fund are there to help them. Soy piss and crap all over the place. You know, this is your typical Antifa, BLM, leftist hypocrisy. They want to defund the police until it's them who have been attacked. I want to give a shout out to our latest in 5D Patreon subscriber, Valerie, who joined our Patreon family a couple days ago. And you can join our in 5D Patreon family for as little as $1.11 a month. We have six different levels and various benefits at each level. And it really goes a long way in supporting my work. And here's one of the things that we have for members of 555 and higher. On the first Wednesday of every month, we have an N5D Insiders Club private chat where we talk about stuff that would definitely get banned 
everywhere. <laughs> but it's off the record, and it's there on our in 5D Insiders Club private chat. Another way you can support my work is with the purchase of an N5D Quantum Tie-Dye t-shirt. I'd like to give a shout out to everyone who recently purchased an N5D Quantum Tie-Dye t-shirt, including Mark, who purchased two, Chelsea, John, who also purchased two, Odette, Trish, who got two, and Sandra, who also bought two, uh, Ellie, Mary, and Lena. Purchasing a shirt is a great energy exchange and you'll be receiving a high vibrational quantum tie-dye t-shirt which helps support my work so thank you to everyone who has purchased an n5d quantum tie-dye shirt on saturday august 28th ali and i are hosting an n5d zoom love match meetup for like-minded spiritual people you can get the Zoom link by visiting our Facebook event page called N5D Zoom Love Match on August 28th at 3 p.m. I'll give the Zoom link on the Facebook event page and I'll put that link to that event page in the more info section of this video. In France, things are getting really bad with the enforcing of the COVID passports. I received this post on Facebook and posted it to my N5D Telegram page. Here's an excerpt. Here in France, it has gone to the extreme with the health <laughs> that some are willing to overlook this, but apparently some is not all. So obviously there's others that are going to ask you for your <laughs> So moving on, in other see on the mainstream media a former Disney star stood up against the forcing of masks on children in a Tennessee courtroom gave up everything there a really successful Hollywood career television shows gave it all up for freedom and to come to this friendly place in Tennessee and be greeted with open arms and I love it here um, I wanted to tell you that I have there are these books that I have, and I have them as a gift for you. The Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, yes, the Bill of Rights, and the Federalist Papers, and also the Bible. And these guarantee my freedom and yours and our children's to breathe Hi. oxygen. In Idiocracy News, this dumbass said that her father could have been worse off if he didn't vaccinated. New at six, a retired Kelly worker, musician, and devoted Spurs fan. 76-year-old Patricio Elizondo was I was just, in, I was in total shock. Ivan Rodriguez was in disbelief. Vaccinated father, Patricio Elizondo, had died of teen. Do you still believe in the Yes, I do. I can't imagine how much more he would have suffered if he had not. Well, I think she's right. Worse off from what? His own death? Okay, so what are the odds of this happening? Exactly 233 new cases in every state, as well as in different countries. Check it out. Guys, look at this. Whatever you think you know, understand that there are 230... New South Wales, 233 new community cases. Alberta, 233 new cases. Shepparton News, 233. Croatia, 233. TNT Records, 233. Iowa, 233. Lithuania, 233. Sydney, 233. Trinidad and Tobago, 233. Indonesia, 233. In Delphi, 233. In Mississippi, 233. Oregon, 233. And so on. And so on and so on pretty interesting coincidence so here's the latest delta variant bullshit they're pushing on us they're basically saying that symptoms are more mild and typically not associated with the virus such as allergies and other common sicknesses so in other words they want every possible symptom of any possible flu virus or cold to be a symptom of and its kajillion upcoming variants. Lastly, there's a video prank going around on TikTok and Facebook, and it's really funny until it happens to you. Check it out.
And finally, if nobody has told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. Until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com. Namaste.